we enter the season of Lent, a time to reflect on the meaning of Jesus' death and resurrection. On Ash Wednesday, we will receive the imposition of ashes and the sign of a cross on our foreheads. This simple yet symbolic act is a reminder of our baptism when we also receive the sign of the cross. In the early church, Lent was a time of intense preparation for those who would be baptized at the Easter Vigil. This focus on the meaning of faith is at the heart of our Lenten journey to the baptismal waters of Easter. During Lent, we invite you to explore these ELCA resources to help guide your daily reflection and prayer. Now is the time. A study guide for ELCA Declaration to People of African Descent is a new resource that helps congregations wrestle with the meaning of the document, Declaration of the ELCA to People of African Descent, and its accompanying explanation. Now is the time stresses realism, self-examination, and accountability as our church acknowledges and apologizes for the history and impact of slavery and systemic racism. The study guide focuses on deepening our understanding of this history as participants engage in often difficult conversation and reflection to move the church toward racial healing and justice. ELCA World Hunger's 40 Days of Giving is another opportunity for study and reflection during Lent. The resources include a daily Lenten calendar with ideas for daily reflection and action, a study guide that offers motivational stories and information about how your gifts to ELCA World Hunger are at work in the world. There is an action guide for congregations that features ideas and resources to help activate your congregation in the fight against hunger and poverty. And you can also sign up for weekly Lenten emails for a deeper dive into inspiring content. As we prepare our hearts and minds for Lent, I offer this prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and honest hearts, so that truly repenting of our sins, we may receive from you the God of all mercy, full pardon and forgiveness, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Be well, dear church.